Huh, Mr. Wayne. Uh, yeah, if you could please sign in on account of the attack. So, um, what brings you in? If you don't mind me asking. <laughs> well, no rest for the weary. Yeah, or for the wicked. You're all set, sir. Excuse me, sir. Ma'am? This is private property. <laughs> you really ought to rethink your hiring practices, Bruce. Your man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It, is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. Going up, Bruce. <laughs> this ain't your stuff. Don't worry about your pal. He's gonna make it. As long as you behave, that is. Give me a hard time, I go back and finish the job. The same goes for anyone else who gets in the way. Capiche? Just go wait in the car. I can do this alone. I don't think you're getting it. You ain't the one in charge. And you ain't the only one allowed to have fun. Didn't your mama ever teach you about Sharon? Now that you mention it, no. She never had the chance. <laughs> Keep it cool and no one else gets a dinner to the dome. Now buck up. We're all smiles on this crew. There you go. You're looking like your billion dollar self again. <laughs> oh, Bruce, well, I'm surprised to see you. And these are... <clears throat> to whom do I owe the pleasure? They're fashion consultants. I figured it's time I try out a new look. Not just Bruce. We are gonna revamp this whole place! Dress everyone in snazzy uniforms. <laughs> oh. Well, no one ran this by me. Just think, you could come into work on Monday dressed just like me. Is this some kind of joke? Do I look funny to you? Like I'm some kind of punchline or something? Excuse me? <laughs> You're gonna let your employees sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? Leave her alone. I ain't even gotten started. I said back off. <laughs> <laughs> your friends don't suit you, Bruce. Rip, Mr. Corporation. The kind that makes a girl go weak at the knees. Wanna show me what else he can do with those hands? We could carve out some alone time. Tempting, but I'm pretty sure that would be a bad idea. Yes, that would be a terrible idea. Bruce has a job to do. Or Shut start. your pie hole, will you, John? You gotta learn to live in the moment. Wait here, I'll be right back with Forget you. Forget it, Brucey boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Say, do you like chess? 
Work your magic. Tick tock. What's the hold up? Tight squeeze. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. I present to you our secret lab. Lucius, you have seriously outdone yourself this time. <laughs> Glad you like it. Like it? Oh, no, this... This changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise R&D way. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. Somehow, I was expecting more. Where's the giant crater? I thought this was where your friend went out with a bang. That was his office upstairs. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. Well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. Protocol Vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. That's not right. Why the lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Oh, all the dumb luck. You're saying we can't get it open, then? Harley's not going to like that at all. Or you. L let me try to find latent prints around here with my scanner. Always thinking, this guy! Dinner to celebrate Tiffany's first day at Wayne Enterprises. Sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. Right, that's a start. I remember when Tiffany brought that back from art class. <laughs> Getting there. Tiffany built that rocket herself. Lucius was so proud. Okay, still unconscious. Hope he's not hurt too badly. Being able to open a door in your own building doesn't exactly inspire confidence. <laughs> One more partial print should do it. Just a bunch of old reports. Need to remember to clean out some of this junk. Not a single usable print. That's 
a shiny piece of metal. What's it do? I'm not even sure if it works. It's an EMP generator, Puddin. <laughs> Tell them what it does. It emits a pulse that knocks out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that? Even now, still finding ways to help me. Stay there. Don't touch anything. I touch what I want when I want, Brucey boy. You knew what's best for you. You'd quit giving orders and find me that key. Looking for this. Tiffany. I told you I'd find out what you got my dad mixed up in. This, this is much worse than I thought. You're not safe here. You have to hide. What the hell are you doing with a secret room full of weapons? What's going on here, Bruce? What's all this for? Your father worked with Batman. That's who all this stuff is for. Batman. I know it! His tech! Dad's fingerprints are all over it. I came looking for answers, but... I didn't expect this. Bruce... These people you're with... I saw on the cameras what they did to that guard. To Regina. They'll do the same to you, or worse. Get out of sight. Bruce! What's taking so long in here, huh? Hey, I know you. We met at your father's funeral. John. Okay, Bruce, no need to get physical. I get it. We'll be as quiet as lab rats. But, but what about Harley? I mean, she's gonna want to know about your, uh, friend here. Just act natural. Natural? Yes, natural. Acting normally. There's nothing wrong. Normality is a social construct, Bruce. It's a way of exerting control over the other. He means keep your mouth shut. I don't like lying to Harley, but I'll do it for you, Bruce. What I really need is the phalanx key. You give me that, I can go out there and, you know, make Harley happy. You can have the key. Just leave Tiffany out of it, okay? You mean this thing? That's it? <laughs> You've got to be kidding, Bruce. You can't give these psychos anything from this lab. Hey now, no need to get personal. We're all on the same side, remember? Please, Tiffany. I've been honest with you every step of the way. Now I need you to trust me. Please. I better not see this on the evening news. Thank you. This... This makes things so much better for everyone. Thank you, Tiffany. You made the right call. Harley will be over the moon when I show her this. Stay out of sight until we are long gone. Whatever. Bruce. You better know what you're doing. Took you long enough? I was starting to think you got sucked into a portal to another dimension or something. Your boys did good, you know? Made Mama proud. Hmm. It don't look like nothing special. You've got what you wanted. Now let's just get out of here. <laughs> Load that thing up too, John. I need it. Hurry it up. Bruce! Are you all right? I'm fine, Alfred. 
I was keeping an eye on you over the security feed. Well, breaking into my own company was... unexpected. Things could have gone so much worse. That you managed to keep both John and Tiffany quiet was a masterstroke, Bruce. Still, that young woman is smarter than both of us, Bruce. It's only a matter of time before she puts the rest of the pieces together. I heard you reveal that Lucius worked with Batman. But will that satisfy her? You know what she's like. She won't stop digging until she gets to the truth. Maybe we should just... tell her. I've always regretted not being more honest with you about your father's life. You're right. I'll be as honest with Tiffany as I can. Very good. Uh, with regards to tonight's other catastrophes... Your night watchman got a nasty lump on the head, but don't worry. He'll be fine. I've already arranged for him to get a generous payout and an extended vacation. And replace tonight's offending security camera feed with dummy footage. Y yeah, thank you. As for Regina, I'm afraid your fashion consultant's cover story is going to cause more problems. Your encounter there was too bizarre to be ignored. Well, after what went on, it'll be a challenge to smooth things over with her. It's all coming so fast. One thing after another. You're always so good at this, Alfred. You'll figure out the right thing. Yes, I suppose I will. Bruce. I know we agreed there was no better way to get to Bane, but this whole adventure with John and Harley, well, frankly, it's exhausting. Well, be careful and good luck. signal. Rooftop briefing. Almost feels like the good old days. <laughs> <coughs> well, if you mean the city's crawling with masked lunatics and I'm not the commissioner, you're not far off the mark. That's not what I meant. Waller told me. Everything's got to go through her office now. Uh, the motion's still tied up in paperwork. For once, the bureaucracy is working in my favor. Here. You're welcome. It's information on Harleen Quinzel from Sealed Records we dug up at the coroner's office. Harleen Quinzel's father committed suicide after decades of struggling with mental illness. A yeah, tough story. Quinzel was a devoted, successful doctor. But she couldn't save him. Must have been hard on her. The trauma of her father's death caused her breakdown. Turned her into the monster she is today. Now, I know what she's done, but... I can't help but feel a little sorry for her. It's gotta be rough on a person, going through all that. Yeah. The loss of a loved one can do that. I'd have to imagine it would. Gordon, you're dismissed. This is still my goddamn station house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right now. You only remind me every other minute. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. Batman got the memo. It's time you did. Unbelievable. She's got some kind of leverage on you, doesn't she? If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. I'll appeal to the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. She knows who I am, Jim. Oh yeah? Well, so do I. You're Batman. 
That's all you ever have to be. That's all Gotham needs you to be. And you, if you're threatening to take that away, you should be ashamed of yourself. I don't want to hear it. Just supposed to come to Gotham, put the chains on Riddler and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying, this city gets under your skin. Fast. Know what I mean? Best laid plans and all that. Even so, it's good that you and your people are here. Thanks. I guess you locals see it differently. Agent of Esther. She fought to get on this assignment, you know? Wanted to see her old neighborhood. Wanted to see you. Her hometown hero. She wanted to impress you. She admires what you do for the people of this city. Your respect is important to her. She certainly succeeded on that front. She's one of my best. Still, wanting to impress you? It's the same thing that made her move too fast on Riddler. Now there's a lesson learned. So, Wayne Enterprises. Heard you made some new friends. You're having me followed. Thanks to you, these very bad people have an EMP and a key that'll open every lock I would want to keep bolted shut. They're clearly planning something. The stakes are too high to leave anything to chance. You know, I actually considered asking you to infiltrate Riddler's gang. Before everything blew up, I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. You're good at this. Seems like you've already won Harley Quinn's trust. What you saw was just a test. An operation like theirs requires someone with your resources. As long as you don't blow it, they're gonna want to keep Bruce Wayne around until they take him for all they can. Get them away from their base of operations. Somewhere, they'll be exposed. When they're all together, out in the open, contact me. I'll be standing by, ready to ambush. We'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Sound good? They'll never know what hit them. If we do this, I want to guarantee that no one gets killed. No one dies. No one has to join murder gangs run by maniacs either. Look, I know your code against killing, but I won't risk my agent's safety for a band of sociopaths. Batman, if it gets bad for you, just remember, we're out here. When you're in deep like this, you need friends. Let's say everything goes pear-shaped, and you get stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. Because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you are not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations go down. I'm guessing by your silence that you don't believe me. When you're wrong, and it'll happen, you'll finally realize I'm just better at this than you are. Al, I'm in. Just don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. Just long enough to figure out their plans. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe. Welcome to our little hideaway and home away from home, the end of the line. We're happy to have you. Thanks, John. You said you'd kill him after you got what you needed. So what? Ain't a girl allowed to change her mind? Could someone get me out of these handcuffs, please? 
Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. What I have is influence, and that is worth a lot. <laughs> Spoken like a man who has never had to do hard work. Who the hell wants to do hard work? I bring us back the transport and the arms we require. You? You bring back a worthless aristocrat. We don't need his money. We have what we need to finish this. Thanks to me. He ain't worthless, you overgrown bicep. He already got us an EMP device and the failing scheme. I'll betcha I can find a use for him. I do not care how much these two swoon over you, Wayne. We don't want you here, and we don't need you here. What have you done? You need to uncuff me. Don't screw this up. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop, or I will seal you both in ice! I swear, if you don't get that electricity back on immediately, I'll send you to a frozen hell. We know that it works. I must check on Nora. See how she is. You may have impressed these two, but I haven't made up my mind about crushing your skull. Fair enough. Everyone back to work. There's still a lot to get done. Who put you in charge? Somebody has to give the orders. That was a nice job before. Come on up to my office. Listen, Bruce. I just want to clear the air a little. You distanced yourself from us back at your office. I don't blame you after all the trouble I caused. You probably noticed I like to stir things up. It's a bad habit. Well, it's made me more enemies than friends. I want to say I'm sorry for messing with your people. Your employees. I know they probably mean a lot to you. Thank you, Harley. Your apology means a lot. Really? You probably think I'm a terrible person, but I want you to understand. You've seen these animals I work with. In my business, you let your guard down for a second, you get torn to shreds. I can only imagine. If I'm always pushing buttons, it's to keep people off balance, you know? Keep them guessing my next move. Keep the real me hidden. I hope you ain't gonna judge me for it. To be honest, I've been at it so long I don't even notice I'm doing it. We all wear masks, Harley. You don't have to be a criminal for that. Even you? You ain't like these others. Bane's a powder keg, Freeze. <laughs> well, you saw Freeze. John's sweet, and believe me, he's got heaps of potential. But he's still a growing boy. You, though, you got your head screwed on right. You're reasonable. I can work with reasonable. We're pulling a job tonight. I want you to be a part of it. You already showed you know how to use that EMP better than any of these other clowns. I'm in. Just tell me what to do. 
That's what I wanted to hear. All will be revealed eventually. Using that EMP, though, that's gonna make tonight's job a whole lot less messy. And that no-neck asshat Bane, he loves making a mess. <laughs> People getting killed just makes his day. If you're gonna come with, you gotta convince the others. Convince them? It's a real pain in the ass sometimes, but you need a majority opinion for anything big. And bringing you along, well, you got some persuading to do. Let me know how I can help. Listen, I know about your father, about how you tried to help him. He was a lost cause that made himself a shotgun lunch. What's that got to do with the price of tea in China? You trying to get in my head, Brucey? Look, I lost my parents too. I know the story. Everyone in this goddamn town knows the story. But don't make you president of the Dead Parents Club. I wanted to talk about my pop. I wouldn't have had those records hidden. Which brings me to thinking, how the hell would you know a thing like that? You snooping around my private life? You got some inside track I don't know about. It wasn't exactly a secret in Arkham, Harley. People talk, especially when they're out of their minds on meds. That's right. Your stint in the loony bin. Still friends? Yeah. Still friends. To be honest, I'm impressed you found that out. Just... don't bring it up again. So what's the deal with Freeze? He's... unique. You mean why he's blue and wrapped up in machinery? Accident in the lab. Here's the thing about Freeze. Only thing he gives two hoots about is his wife. He gave up Everything to try and save her when she got sick. And I mean everything. Job, health, soul, the whole shebang. She's dead. Frozen stiff. Keeps her on ice in the next room while he searches for a cure. Ain't that just kooky? I mean, that explains why he flipped when the EMP went off. But seriously, who does that? I don't know. Sounds pretty romantic to me. Bruce, you big softy. I suppose you could see it that way. It's just made him into such an angry person. You know, that's tearing him up inside. Talking about his wife is the only way to get Freeze to pay attention to you. But watch yourself. His attention ain't always a good thing. I get the feeling Bane doesn't like me very much. That knucklehead respects strength and loyalty. Show him you got those, and he'll come around. He's a man's man. I don't got much time for all that burly machismo, but sit him down for a beer or something. He'll hear what you gotta say. He may kill you when you're done, but at least he'll listen. <laughs>